Hi, and welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham. I'm at the 2023 RIU Explorers Conference in Fremantle, where I caught up with Encounter Resources Managing Director, Will Robinson. Will? Welcome back to the Roadhouse. It's always good to see you. Wally, good to be here, mate. All right. Um, now, Encounter Resources, very busy. A lot going on with your portfolio. Let's start with your 100% owned project, your West Arunta project. What's, um, what's happening there? Yeah, Wally, we're going to kick off drilling in April. Um, we've got a big program planned this year. Um, we're going to uh, do some diamond drilling, uh, 2,000 metres of diamond drilling. It's EIS co-funded. We're following up the IOCG uh, encouragement we got uh, in the previous drill program. We've had some carbonatites drilled right on our tenement boundary out there. Uh, this is shaping as a new critical minerals province for Australia. Um, the drilling so far, there's only been three areas that have been drilled. They've all been well mineralised. We're going to follow that up with a, with a big falcon uh, survey, a big gravity survey, across about a 100 kilometre long stretch to really open up that belt. So it's a, it's a big year for us out there. All right, you were just mentioning there that a new um, area opening up. Can you just give us an idea of where the Western Runter project is? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a remote location. It's at the WA Western Australian border. Um, it's a zone of, of Proterozoic rocks in Australia that's been essentially completely untested in, in previous, uh, uh, by previous explorers. You've now got us, WA1 and Rio Tinto, all uh, planning big drill programs there this year, so I think it's a, it's a bit of a region that people should be keeping an eye on. Okay, so, but it's a project you've been working on for a while though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now we've we've been we've built this up over the last uh, three or four years. Um, we drilled our first drill hole there back in in, in 2020. Um, that was when we uh, under uh, a joint venture we had with Newcrest, and then we've been advancing it ever since, doing gravity, magnetics, radiometrics, and really getting the baseline data sets to enable us to to take the project forward. All right, and you're not averse to a, a, a joint venture. You've got uh, quite a few going on. Um, do you can just give us a quick snapshot of, of what else is happening? Yeah, so well, we've got partnerships with BHP, IGO and South32 at various projects. South32 and BHP have both got programs planned in the uh, Northern Territory this year. South32 is going to kick off their drilling uh, in May this year. They've got a big program, 6,500 metres of diamond drilling they're going to drill and they're going to drill out the Zeta IACG target, which is really uh, looking pretty promising. Um, IGO is going to be kicking off their program in, I think, May in, uh, in the Patterson. So it looks, lots going on. Last year, our three partners spent $7 million on, uh, on our projects um, and we're expecting uh, a similar uh, investment uh, in 2020, uh, 2023. Well, $7 million coming from uh, JV partners is pretty handy. It means you don't have to go rattling the tin for the, uh, for the investors. Yeah, well, it's also great to work with these teams. You know, they're, they're, they're doing terrific work and, and going into places where people haven't been before, trying to find new big, uh, big deposits and deposits that sort of turn the dial for, for a BHP or a, a South 32 or an IGO are going to make a big difference for our shareholders. Yeah, terrific. All right, mate. Well, I'll, le I'll let you get back to all that. You're obviously a very busy man. So uh, keep in touch. Let us know what's going on and uh, we'll talk soon. Sounds good, Wally.